Hello again, AZ at Digital Gojo Showrooms. Well, it's time for another frequently asked question video, and this time it's on the big buzz around this new camera from Canon, the EOS M5 digital ILC camera. This happens to be their newest in the lineup of mirrorless. What did I do? Of course, I went online, scoured the internet, I went on Amazon websites, different websites where people were posting questions on how the features work on this camera and how to work with this brand new interchangeable lens mirrorless from the Canon lineup. If this video helps you out, remember to hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to the channel for future frequently asked questions such as this and to share with fellow photographers and videographers. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Digital Goja Showrooms has one of the nation's largest in-store selection of authorized Canon cameras and lenses. Here are some beginner questions asked about the Canon EOS M5. Does it have a touchscreen? Yes, a nice large 3.2 inch. Notice how I can actually touch focus wherever I choose. So I can go ahead and pick where I want it to focus. And I can angle it. So notice how I can actually move the screen to the corresponding angle that I prefer. Plus it gives me access to my menu. So I can do anything that I choose to in the menu. It could all be changed with the touchscreen. So yes, Canon did a great job with their new 3.2 inch touchscreen. How much does the EOS M5 kit cost? Well, this kit, which is the current one that's available with the EF M15 to 45 IS STM lens is $1,099. If you just want to buy the body alone, which will also be available, that will be $980. Does it have a creative mode? Yes, they did. This has been really popular on some of their pointing shoots. It's the, the, on the dial, it's a little diagram with the camera and the star in the top. Turn it on, and now you can go ahead and choose which mode you wanna do. You wanna change your color tone, saturation, contrast, brightness, and you can even change the blurring of the background, whether you want it blurred or not. And again, the beauty of it is that I can do it with the touchscreen, so you can see the effect right away. Nice feature, they made it really simple to be much more creative with the EOS M5. Is it made out of magnesium or plastic? Well, they don't use the term plastic, it's a polycarbonate. It's very well put together, honestly. That's the reason why they can make this camera just a little bit shy of 22 ounces in this combination with the 15 to 45. Very sturdy, feels great in the hand, but it's not magnesium alloy. That way you also have the capability of working with Wi-Fi and their new Bluetooth connection. Can I use Wi-Fi? Well, not only Wi-Fi, they added also Bluetooth for a much more secure connectivity system. So we go into the menu and scroll to the toolbar and there you have your wireless settings. You have your Wi-Fi connection and notice how you can connect it. I have it set up for an iPhone or you can also connect it to a wireless printer. You can also set it to even a DLNA TV set monitor. So they made it really easy and secure to connect wirelessly to your smart devices. Can I crop an image after I shoot it on my EOS M5? Absolutely, and they made it really simple with this nice big 3.2 inch screen. So. There we go, we have a picture of Digital Goja showrooms from the outside. So we're going to hit the Q set and we're going to set crop image. You can change the perspective, zoom in there. And then we go over here to crop and save, save new image. Boom, now you have the new image. Wow, look at that. So yes, absolutely, it allows you to do your post editing for your crop right in the camera. Does it have an HDR mode? Yes, it does, and they made it really simple. 
it's on your command dial hold it down set it to the two interlooping circles and you now have your HDR mode and you can change your different version you have art vivid you have art bold you have art embossed natural and then back to art standard very simple to do HDR mode with the EOS M5 does it have a hybrid mode yes that's become really popular with Canon there's your hybrid mode where it does clips and video and combines them in camera to get basically the way to explain it is like a trailer so that's your hybrid mode on your EOS M5 can I use my Sony e-mount lenses with my M5 no well you know they kind of look similar that's the reason why I think people are getting confused because of the size here I have a very popular Sigma 31.4 in the e-mount but notice the connections are completely different can I change the ISO absolutely you just can't do it on intelligent auto you have to go to at least program and of course all your other settings but this dial right here the dial function I can go ahead and switch it if I want to do white balance or press it again and switch it over to ISO and then I can change my ISO you know as high as I want to I mean this guy says you can shoot at 25,600 I'll be doing a video later on where we're actually going to put it to the test to see and I can go all the way down to ISO 100 is it the same sensor as the Canon EOS ADD well it's the same size I don't know if they went ahead and recycled the sensor and they're putting the same sensor in the EOS M5 but it's the same size APS-C sensor notice how they're pretty much identical here does it have a built-in flash well yes it does a lot of people thought that this camera wasn't going to have one and there it is right there it does have a small built-in flash the guy number is like 18 so it's there to help you out but the beauty of it is that it does have an external hot shoe so you can work with some of the more popular flashes out there here I have the the new Canon Speedlight 430 EX3 RT mounts on there and it works fully as one notice how it fires perfectly and it has no issue with focusing and with using the full TTL when it fires here are some advanced questions asked about the Canon EOS M5 is the EOS M5 good for vlogging well they did a great feature by this screen doing this but remember their tripod goes over here so I would suggest maybe using your wireless smartphone to use it as the monitor while you're vlogging because it does have the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth built in but this is the way that I would suggest it because remember your tripod socket is under here so you have to use that other solution but it should do the job for you does it have dual pixel AF CMOS absolutely this is just like your ADD and you can pick the focusing however you want just make sure you don't touch this because it switches over to electronic viewfinder and it has the, the focus drag I love that feature where you can nice and gently bring it into focus wherever you want so if I want to have it focus in the background or bring it over here and focus on the on the logo I can do so by just dragging it across can I record 4k video no this one doesn't do 4k video but you do have the capability of shooting at 60 frames per second at full 1080p and notice how I can change it in the menu here I can go to as down to 24 frames per second and if I go to not full HD I can shoot at also 60 frames per second and at VGA at 640 by 480 at 30 frames per second does it have high speed sync yes it does but of course it has to be with a compatible flash here I happen to have very popular the 430 EX3 RT put the flash on the camera this is a nice size 
compact locket turn on the camera let's go into our menu and we're going to go into our camera menu and notice that I'm in the fifth folder let's go to flash control gotta get used to the touch screen here we go external flash settings click on that oh it works better when you turn on the flash now we do it again there you go so there's your ETTL wireless zoom auto here's your settings so you have first curtain second curtain and there you go high speed sync so now I can go ahead and choose you know really fast shutter speed so if I want to shoot at one three thirty two hundredths of a second I can go ahead and do so and fire off and I can get the flash to work perfectly every single time does this bother you beep 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 well you can get rid of the beep go into the menu go to the tool setting and we're going to go to the third folder click on where it says beep and turn it off so now well, you actually have to turn it off there we go so now the beep is gone now it still has a shutter noise you can't get rid of that it doesn't get completely silent but you did get rid of that noisy beep the beep is gone does it have IBIS yes it does but it only works on video it's electronic image in body image stabilization we go into the menu and you're going to go into the camera menu and you can touch over or scroll over to the fourth folder and move down to IS settings activate that and here you can switch it to continuous or off so let's activate it and you have standard and you even have enhanced if you have as they say vigorous hand movement probably a lot of movement involved I would set it to that all right so can I process in my camera my raw images absolutely you don't have your computer you're on about and you want to transfer your files through the Wi-Fi Bluetooth setting to your tablet or smartphone they made it really simple so you first playback shows you the raw file hit menu you're going to go into your third folder and scroll down to raw image processing select now you have the image hit set menu OK and then you can use shot settings and customize it for processing makes it really simple to process and send it right to your smartphone or tablet can I program my dials and buttons to do certain different characteristics absolutely but we have to go into the menu first so we go into menu and you're going to go into your custom menu setting and scroll down to where it says custom function number two others and now you can actually go ahead and reprogram your dials and buttons to have different designated functions that's pretty impressive that way you can set it up to your liking yes they thought of how many of us out there like to work on manual focus so we're going to go into the menu and we're going to go into the fourth folder and look at your setting for focus peak settings and you can actually activate it here and you can pick high or low level in the color and you can actually choose the color that you prefer so if you want to do yellow set it up and you notice how it changes to yellow when it's in focus that's pretty impressive does it have clean HDMI out for recording no I'm afraid not they gave you micro HDMI to HDMI but that's just for playback purposes that does not allow you to record through here does it have auto exposure bracketing absolutely we'll go into the menu setting and we're going to go into the camera and we're going to switch down to the fourth folder 
and that's your auto exposure bracketing and here you can actually change up to three stops difference for three images. Notice how I can actually set the amount of distance by the amount of the exposure whether I want negative or positive and I can change the amount that I want. I can choose however I set it hit OK and that way it'll take multiple images and gives you auto bracketing. Can I change my quick function menu? Absolutely. You now have the capability of going into your Q menu and predetermining which one of these you want activated. So we go into the menu and we're going to go to the second tab for camera and switch down to and again you can do it this way or remember you have the capability of touching on the screen and I can go ahead and now de-click or add whatever I want to be on my quick function menu. That's a fantastic feature. This is something that was available in their higher end cameras. It's now available on their new EOS M5. Does it have a built-in leveler? Yes, it does. All you have to do is access your information by hitting the info button and there it is. It gives you your orientation for your pitch and yaw and horizontal too. So all that information is being displayed on the info section of your screen. Makes it very easy to make sure your camera is completely leveled. Does it have a microphone input? Yes it does. It does have built-in mono microphone connection but honestly if you're going to do professional audio you want to use an external mic. So notice how here we have the 3.5 port so that way you can connect your external microphone whether it's a condenser or a lavalier. They did not give you a headphone jack they only gave you a microphone jack so if you're looking for a headphone jack it does not have one but it does have for external microphone input.